But did you know about PA? Because uh, I, mm, you know, uh, I got my disability at the age of 17. At yeah. the age of 16, I guess, I started working myself as a personal assistant. Why? Uh, Why? It was, uh, it was a chance. Okay. Uh, where, I, where I just uh, met somebody, okay. needed an assistant. And uh, yeah, when you're so young, it's hard to find a job. But uh, yeah, I, 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 so personal assistance, it was a good job for me anyway. Did you like it? Yeah, I did. I, I, I liked it a lot because uh, this person actually was the one who introduced independent living philosophy to me. Okay. So as a, you know, I told you as a child, I had been thinking that it would be so nice when my parents would be able to take the role of a parent yeah. and now this lady introduced a philosophy that really uh, that really encourages people taking those roles yeah and I was I was very keen to to hear more about this and then life made another turn and I got to say about myself and could put all this knowledge into a practice mm. and I mean she was the one later on it's um, Mm, she, she was the one later on giving me advice how you organize an interview uh, with a personal assistant so you find yeah. a really good assistant for yeah. example and like how, how to not give up how to uh, what kind of legislation uh, you can use for for claiming your rights mm. and she was she was already there to give this kind of I see I see then did you get it? assistant? When? Mm, yeah. It was a um, little after my uh, 18th birthday. How? It's February. <laughs> I still remember that the amazing times. And you are... You, yeah. And how, how many hours did you get? Um, it was uh, about 200, 220 per month, something okay. like that. It wasn't very much, I mean, it was, uh, they, they came, uh, they gave me that because I wanted to go to school, go physically on spot to school. Yeah. Uh, they, they first, um, my social worker first tried to make me to understand that, you know, uh, Children who are that severely disabled don't go to school, they study at home. But I said, well, this is discrimination. Uh, uh, I, I want to I wanna go to school on spot. I want to be the one who decides if I want to study at home or, or in the school institution. Uh, and they give the assistance for that to me. So when I wanted to go to a party or something, then I had to m miss school. But... For how long did you call the students? Uh, for how long? Uh, how long the process took to... Yeah. Uh, it was, yeah, it was two months after. So, and, um, yeah, about on the, f like, three months I was in the hospital and, yeah, about two months after I started interviewing and employing my first assistant. Did you like it? Um. Yeah, I did. I am. Um, uh, I did. I mean, it. It might be the case that for the assistants, I was fairly difficult as a work leader. <laughs> <laughs> but I mean, why? Uh, because I was just so. Um, I was so unexperienced, and I didn't really have a. Um, uh, I mean, a, a young adult would, would actually need a lot more counselling and support than I got. That's why I very strongly believe in peer support and I, I really do believe. Because when I, when I gained my disability, first I had this crazy idea of... Uh, I, I, was, I was 
um, imagining independence as an ability to do everything with my body. So I, I was, I was, for example, even though my hands didn't really work, I didn't ask my assistant to feed me. I was trying to eat myself. As a result, I was throwing food all over the kitchen, ate about half of it, and then my poor assistant had to clean all the mess up. Oh. <laughs> and and uh, then I had an idea that even though my feet doesn't really work for walking, I can take the stairs. So I was trying to walk stairs and fell. How many million times I fell the stairs. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so since um, um, nobody was there to, to help me through that process, I was psychologically still not very well. And that was tough as an environment for an assistant.